You've made an excellent choice. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Cody. The guy you see on screen is Eli. And first up, we're at Walmart where it's been three weeks since we've serviced. Look how empty it is. That is what we like to see. Low M&Ms, low gumballs, low Skittles, just all the way around. Eli will go ahead and fill those up. Looking good, looking full. Let's go ahead and lock her up and spin her around. Got the top. And let's see what's in the back. Open her up. And we got a waterfall. And we're looking pretty fat. We always love going to Walmart because it's always just always so good. Go ahead and scoop those quarters in. We are looking at 57.25 in three weeks. This spot is back to killing it uh, since we've moved the machine back up front. And take a look at the pouch. And we are looking good. And spin it. And the tilt looking good. Check those mechs. And we are good to go. Next up we are at our car detail location. Where there is only a soda machine now. So our machine is just dreadfully low. Every single one of them. We didn't expect this. So we're going to go ahead and fill this machine up and uh, hit those peanut M&Ms. I actually had to go back to Sam's Club and um, get some peanut butter M&Ms because they no longer sell Reese's Pieces, which is very odd, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, change that sticker out and it's peanut butter M&Ms. Now let's go ahead and take a look in the back. And we got another waterfall. Love to see it. Go ahead and scoop those guys into the pouch. First, let's get the escapees that have run out of the machine. This machine was completely empty and we were looking at $72.75 for a month. And um, I wish we would have got to it sooner because it was just so freaking empty. But that pouch was heavy. That's the kind of thing we like to see. And uh, we got a couple trying to hide from us in the back there, but Eli will go ahead and lock up that machine and spin her around. And like I said, I had to run back to Sam's Club and get peanut butter M&Ms, but I got that one filled as well and looking sharp. Next up, we're at our popular restaurant with our yellow triple shop right in front. That's always ideal, guys. If you can get your machine just right up front by the entrance, you'll be uh, you'll be looking pretty good. Go ahead and dump our gumballs in there. Got to do it kind of carefully because it's got that little spinning mechanism piece and you don't want to break that. Uh, go ahead and break out the peanut M&Ms. Looking good. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We'll go ahead and and this place was actually pretty busy too when we came by and it was around lunch so take a listen to that awesome stuff we will shut the top spinner around and see what's in back a few moments later Eli will open up the open up the back and another waterfall love it and a thick pile of quarters in the back we're looking at $55 flat in 30 days. You can't complain about that kind of thing, you know? It's just so good. Eli will scoop them effortlessly into the pouch. No snags. 
Nice looking pouch. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead and close that up. And we are looking good. Get the tilt going on. Check those mechs. Cha-ching. All right, next up we're at JC Penney's at our local mall. This machine is usually pretty slow these days. I don't know if it's like a JC Penney's thing or just a mall thing really, but uh, we'll go ahead and turn it around and see what we got. Not too shabby, not too bad. We didn't have to put any candy in the machine, but it made $22.50 for one month. Still passive income, guys. I mean, you know, you might have a thrust hold of like $25 or whatever, but $22.50, close enough, you know, keep that machine busy, you know, don't just keep it in your garage or whatever, so it'll stay here, it's got a home, and uh, we're happy with it. Close her up. Looking good. Spin her around. Tighten that head a little bit. Got the big tilt that time. Looking good. Those mechs are clean. And we are up next. We have our Mexican restaurant where we have our crane. We've been having to service every two weeks. The dollar bill acceptor gets so full. So let's go ahead and open it up. First, of course, let's check out these quarters. A nice thick stack of quarters inside. Got a receipt in there. Dump those in. Looking good, not too bad. All right, here we go. Boom, baby, that's what I'm talking about. A nice, fat DBA. We're looking at, in two weeks, $85.50 in change and $146 in cash for a total of $231 for half a month. Gotta love it. Last up, we have our seven foot tall gumball machine. And guys, take a look at all those stinking quarters. I, I'm telling you, we keep our banks alive with this quarter shortage that we got going on. They absolutely love us. We are looking at 110 and quarters, excuse me. And boom, baby, we're looking at $133 in cash and, and, seven dollars in credit card sales for a total of 254 dollars with that guys we're back to filming as much as we can and uh we cannot wait to share more collections and tips for you we'll see you in the next one goodbye two thousand years later